Dear Chopper. Yo, smash that subscribe button, bro. If you ever drink water, smash that like button. Don't forget to turn on your post. <laughs> I'm gonna turn those post notifications to you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know who didn't fall off chat? Nigga Playboy Cardi, bro. Playboy Cardi, I don't think will ever fall off. I think he's I think he's certified, bro. This nigga certified, bro. He's good. He's good for it. Yeah, Playboy Cardi documentary. Wrong. And I'm a motherfucker be wrong. Playboy Cardi is here. That's you, Playboy Cardi. Uh -huh. what? 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 Yo, this music video is so fire, bro. Best Cardi. Okay, my favorite Cardi album is Die Lit. Whole lot of red. I won't lie. I was a whole lot of red hater when it first dropped. I can't get up. I'm gonna own up to it, bro. I did not like that shit. There was like a couple songs I liked. For the most part, I did not like that. Oh, I can't cap. I can't cap. I, didn't, I was damn near, but I was literally about to start crying because I was so mad because I thought this shit was ass. I can't even cap. I can't even cap. I was dead ass about to start crying because I was so pissed. But then it grew on me a lot. Because I, I, was, I was like, bro, literally before that, I was like, I'm going to force myself to listen to this album. I don't care how bad it is. I waited so long to hear this shit. I, it has to be good. So I would like consistently listen to it to see if it would grow on me. And it grew on me a lot, bro. So whole lot of red is like a very close second. I can't lie. Over overrated? I'm gonna say it's overrated. But I do think Dilet is the best. I think Dilet number one, whole lot of red number two, self-titled number three. Whole lot of red, yeah. That's it. That's it brought his career to a whole nother level, bro. Oh, yeah. But it ran in red, oh yeah, yeah. But it, like, oh, I still wish we got the OG whole lot of red, because I think the OG whole lot of red would have the exact same thing. I think no matter which version of whole lot of red we got, it would have shifted his career so much. Because we got OG, we, we, we would have got all those amazing leaks like Cancun, like all that shit, bro. Asthma, all that, bro. But then we got the new whole lot of red where he's like a completely different Cardi. So either way, I feel like they would have, it would have boosted his career crazy. Yo, people did not like this song. Not this. This song right here, people did not like this song, bro. People did not like this song. I love this shit. I'm like a lot. When I heard this, shit, I love this song. I was vibing crazy. I like this song. I was like, you know, <laughs> I was vibing that shit. That shit was hard. In New York, I'm missing. Get my demons out. Free my mind. My stomach hurt. My st One of the best snippets of all time, right there. I'm not gonna lie. To you. AKA Best snippets of all time. Cartier, aka Playboy Cardi, was born on September 13th, 1996, in Atlanta, Georgia. Growing up, Cardi told Yo, Boy what the that fuck? His mom couldn't tell him shit. You shut up! Give me a turn to speak! Nobody could tell him shit. Well, he's cool, isn't he? That type of lifestyle influenced Cardi to get into trouble at a young age and turn his back on the idea of pursuing any kind of school plans after high school. Which in Same. hindsight now, I, fuck yeah, with that. I guess it was worth it. Before it was. Rap, though, he actually said he wanted to play in the NBA to make something out of himself. He told Fader in an interview that he was a young AI and didn't go to practice. <laughs> That was the time he was all hoop and no rap while ducking school. He said he would smoke before practice, get on the court, and drop dirty, fam. I believe him. That nigga's actually was pretty good. I've, I've seen clips of him playing basketball. He was pretty good. He's pretty good. crazy because I definitely worked at H&M too about two years ago. But anyways, yeah. He barely graduated high school, bro. He was actually so close to not graduating that no one showed up to his graduation because they didn't Damn. know he was even going to. He also hated the idea of being an up-and-coming rapper working at H&M, so he said, Beep! and teleported out of there. So let's get into the music stuff. Cardi began rapping back in 2011, bro. A young Cardi who went by the name of Sir Cardi Sir Cardi, yeah. a song called Cry. Probably one of the few times you'll actually hear him trying to rap for real, although his vocals are way too low, bro. You can barely hear what he's saying. He then went on to drop his first ever project in 2012 called Young Misfit, which is actually still up to this day. Where your soul go? Where your spirit at? Bitch, get cash, bitch. I gotta have shit. Oh, yeah, that shit is ass. Fuck you and your attitude. I do what I got to. I wonder what made him, like, change his sound, though. Oh, this song sounds pretty good, though. Take his music that, that song's actually sounding kind of good. 
In 2013, he probably dropped a couple songs here and there, with one of them being a song called Outchia. I wonder what made him like change his like style of music really into that baby voice. Really started to get the ball rolling. The first song that he would ever release on his SoundCloud and is still up to this day is Young Zan Ho. Hey, damn. Got me on some other shit. That shit slaps heavy. In mid 2014, I, I don't know. Signing with an underground Atlanta-based record label, Awful Records, which would be huge exposure for Cardi. It's the year that Awful Records made a name for themselves with songs like Wrist. Wrist, 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 wrist. The first two tracks that came under Awful Records were the tracks Talk and Lost. The up-and-coming wave and unique production of these songs gave Cardi that platform to establish his sound and get popular in the underground scene i wonder what i wonder what cardi would be doing if he didn't make any music probably like selling drugs or some shit you know on the block at, 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 at atlanta but i feel like the music game needs playboy cardi like music game wouldn't be where it's at without playboy cardi because he's like he has a lot of influence i can't count he has a lot of influence my opinion those tracks sound way ahead of his time to me remember music in 2014 didn't really sound like this in late 2014 cardi would then begin to work with the producer mexico dro the chemistry between those two was unmatched bro with fire tracks such as money counter broke boy plug hey robin jeans with the jeans pop a bit for my train oh, okay. Game with the roof up three grams and so on with the biggest one for cardi probably being the track by myself slash no help where you can really hear the chief keef influence heavy in the flow bro the voice the ad libs the production and just overall the vibe of the track oh yeah that does sound some chief keef shit and now cardi's a zesty ass vampire now, Who would have thought? Is really when Ian Connor would play a huge role in the come up. Who would have thought, bro? Cardi would go his separate ways with Awful Records. Lingo Awful Man has been a big part of my life, also, man. I love all those folks over there. Like. And even though Ian and him were friends before, he would eventually take a manager type role for Cardi. I can't emphasize enough how much it really helped Cardi get his fans just by Ian posting him on Twitter all the time. He marketed his music all the time, and all of his fans would go and check out anything he posted. This would help him gain a huge buzz from this cosign. Since Ian was such a social influencer, it helped him network and make connections. One important person being ASAP Rocky. Ian yeah. introduced him to Cardi and March of 2015 at South by Southwest, which eventually led to Cardi signing to ASAP Mob. Cardi, beam, bam, with the release uh, Broke Boy. Uh, and you already know how much that song bangs. When that track released, it eventually skyrocketed him in the underground scene. It will partly be responsible for bringing Cardi up to the face of SoundCloud. It's definitely a banger, and Complex even placed it on their website. The it definitely put him on the map. He didn't stop there, though. In that same month, he would drop another SoundCloud classic with Fetty. Oh my god. I didn't love Earth. Lean in my cup, gas in my blind. Oh my god, that song is hard. Oh, for sure. Bro, you know what's crazy though? Look at this clip of Thug bringing out ASAP in 2015 and Peep Cardi on stage with the blue sweater. He would then officially announce that he was signing to ASAP in October of 2015. Shout out to ASAP Rocky, man. Shout out to all. Um, yeah. Rocky signed me, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of shit coming up. Big it's odd shit. the beginning of Cardi going ghost on us, bro. Oh, you know how we haven't got a whole lot of red in over two years? Yeah, but we'll get into that soon. Ian Connor would post this on his Twitter, but Cardi wouldn't really drop anything solo until 2017. Although he did drop two bangers in 2016 with the songs What? and V-Lone Thug, both featuring Uno the Activist. Yo, him and Uno was... Yeah. I don't want to bar. Him and Uno was was fire. As well as being featured on the cozy tapes. Oh, him on the cozy tapes was fire too. So he wasn't completely out of the mind. Cardi shot. Cardi is shot. Still an up and coming buzzing rapper. It wasn't like he was falling off or anything. Cardi so Cardi so uh Cardi so sweet. He's so adorable. Him and Uzi so adorable. 
Yeah, they be so shy sometimes. In March of 2017, Playboy would drop two lead singles, Woke Up Like This and Looking, both with Lil Uzi for his upcoming tape. Yeah, the beginning of 1629. By that boy Pierre Bourne. That's still this never coming out. Introduce Pierre to the mainstream, and this would be the first of many fire tracks that Pierre would produce for Cole. Yo, Pierre! A month later, he would release his self titled tape, selling 28K in his first week. It got a bunch of mixed reviews, but most of his fans loved it, including me. I think it's fire with tracks That's like. Uzi and Cardi? Location, do that um, shit, let it go, half and half. Bro, low key the whole tape. I would say Shooter, but I feel like they should have did the uh OG version of Shooter. Well, Uzi's second verse. I would say did that version. This is not part of some raw. This is not part of some raw. A song from that tape that blew him the hell. Magnolia. Up brought Playboy to the mainstream was Magnolia. Not in a massa. The instrumental, the catchy hook, everything about it just oozed the hit. Especially the in New York at Millie Rock line. That to me made it more popular. It catapulted his career by Yeah, Magnolia Magnolia sent this nigga crazy. Today, honestly, if it wasn't for this track. Then in June of that year, Cardi would be a That song was all over the place, bro. What? Yo, hey, purple A. Yeah, I said that joke. Okay, this is a very iconic double XL, but not for Cardi. It's because of X. I'm not gonna lie. This this double XL class right here was kind of was kind of ass, but but X X shit made it very iconic. What a terrible freestyle, but hey, yeah, it was ass. I wasn't expecting much. Can't lie. After this, though, I won't lie. It was X and Ugly God. They had like top two, bro. They had top two. I would say they want to other like one of uh, X's other ones that wasn't so like fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna say weird, but weird. Like, <laughs> Cause let's be honest, bro. We was all vibing, and this nigga just comes out, turns the beat off, goes on a knee, and everything's just quiet. It was like, what the fuck? I don't go ghost with solo work until but, you know, 2018. Although he it was still iconic. Tapes too, keeping his name out there. No, no, that fire. Better not fucking not come. Better not come. Oh yeah, he was on um. That one song with Uzi. It was um. It was Uzi. Cardi, Rocky, Frank Ocean, Quavo. What was that song called? What's that song called? Well, all of them on it. Crazy, crazy features, bro. I didn't know what's up. I didn't want a rock star. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's on my playlist. Chop. Hitting that bit for the fire. No, it's me. Walk away my toolie, what they do? Miley Cyrus, catch him by his. I'm on the top of the bed. I'm on the top of the bed. I'm on the top of the bed. Let me pull up, bitch. Oh my god, I'm trying to find this song. I Lit was finally released on May of 2018. It debuted at number three on the Hot 200. And Raph, that's what I'm thinking of. Raph. First week and got pretty decent reviews. And I ain't gonna lie, fam. I'm one of his, his best album. It, it's his I best album. The biggest fan of it. It's his best right album. Day. It's one of those albums that took a few months to grow on me. Just look at this Facebook post I made around the time it came out. I said, bruh, the song I'm pull up by Playboy Cardi is garbage. Is garbage. <laughs> You like my like rap, rap, how these dudes are rich is insane. dudes are rich is insane. And bro, that's crazy. I find that wild to read because this has become one of my favorite albums to bump. Like, it's my ever. favorite every album, bro. song on here I can blast and turn up every time. Some of these songs just make me want to levitate and transcend into another dimension, bro. No lie. This shit is heat. It's kind of funny, though, because I tell people that Playboy Cardi is like the king of nothing. Like, his music is literally... Nothing. nothing yeah like, i feel like if that nigga don't be talking about rapper was to rap the shit same way he does says the they would never content, make it they would say he's trash or yeah. garbage but for some reason cardi's vocals i guess with the production it that just is true only cardi garbage. can make you know cardi I mean? music like, bro he's a terrible rapper but it's hard to explain <laughs> like there's no substance at all but it's just lit bro like i don't know he's kind of lucky he has such a dedicated okay i won't say there's no substance substance like sometimes he be having some real shit in his songs, it's just hard to understand or hear them because of how he's like rapping. But sometimes there actually be some real shit in these songs that he be like, you know what I'm saying? You just, you just gotta pick up on it. You either pick up on it or you don't type shit. Dedicated fan base. And speaking of dedicated fan bases, bro, Cardi. 
where is whole lot of red, bro? Is there like don't a even couple lines? Get into the whole lot of red rollout because honestly, bro, I could be here all day talking about the drought we're currently in. If you're watching this video right now and Cardi already blessed us with whole lot of red, yeah, he did, guy. Good. Life is good. That's a blessing. Life is good. At the time of this recording, I'm starving, fam. We still have yet yeah. to get it. Now, why? How long was it? Like so long? I'm not like sure. three, four years, bro. Oh my god, that shit was again, annoying. These weird ass tweets lying to us on the gram, like. That's that shit was annoying, bro. In. What does that mean, bro? What does that mean? Stop pissing Tina? me off. Oh, yeah, I hate that my song. My Stummy Year video that released in 2018 was a super tease. We didn't get that song until the following year, bro. Honestly, there's been I, so I don't like Teen X and I don't like Metamorphosis. I don't know why, how niggas no, like bro, Metamorphosis. Really I don't like that shit. We basically have the entire album already. With a deluxe, probably. Because it's been so many Yeah, we songs. do, bro. I'm not gonna lie. like Neon, Molly, Cancun. I'm happy he released Neon, but I wish he released some other ones. so popular that he would perform them on stage and everyone would know yes the words, bro Larry niggas knew the lyrics to these songs fire and i was in that crowd too honestly i don't know who's involved with the marketing yo to any I'm nigga that was at those really loud sets of him performing those old songs are so lucky because he'll never drop those songs like those songs are never coming out now like ever like we are never getting i feel like cardi should do an album of just all his leaks, like all his like top leaks that niggas want, just do an album. Basically, it would just be a whole lot of red. It would literally be like a whole lot of red, plus maybe some other songs that wouldn't have made it. But he's just like that album would be deep. I'm like, that would be a long ass album, but people would love that shit. Like it would probably be his biggest album. This album, but they doing a or, or maybe genre. not because it, it, it has taken Cardi so long. Would, but Kid Cudi should have definitely been an official release. Kid Cudi should have been dropped, bro. I love that. Song. <laughs> I think it was number one on Spotify at one point. That song should drop, bro. Released. That song was such an oh internet my God. hit. I don't know. Honest. By the way, that's, I don't think that's Cardi's song. Pretty sure that's Young Nudie's song. But either I know Young Nudie's on it either way. That song should have dropped. I'm not going to lie, bro. That would have boosted their both of their careers in, like, in, in, insanely. Like, holy shit. Bro, that song well. is that amazing, bro. Like no other. Then it wrecks, yeah. But this is out now. Cool, That's out bro. now. Why wasn't that officially Cancun released? is hard. The ball skeleton is hard. At this 7 a.m. hard. Is dying, bro. Molly I feel like hard. that skeleton from all those memes. Now comes 2020. So many this good boy, songs. Playboy really said he got bars, and that's what Whole Lot of Red is all about. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Whole Lot of Red is just... Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie, gang. You did not prove to no nigga that you can rap with a whole lot of red, but you pre you proved that you can definitely rage. You could definitely, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that's what a whole lot of red is about. Every time I was you know, I went to Billy. And Playboy I don't hate his feature on that song though. I'm not gonna lie. Drake I don't even hate his feature on that like, song. I gotta go all out. This is my chance. I don't even hate that feature, bro. This is so low effort, bro. Don't get me wrong. I was it was definitely one not of those people good. Who actually liked it, but it, like I, don't I did like baby it. Baby voice. I actually liked it. I, I did like whole, it. Spit the honey cane, New York house, bud. Whatever he said. Okay, you don't have to do it. You do not have to do that though. at me. I don't give a fuck. At me is hard, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. Favorite song on the whole red? I love you, I hate you. It's the best song that nigga's ever dropped in his career. <laughs> but it is one of my favorite Cardi songs, though. Like, actually. I love you, I hate you. It's my favorite Cardi song. It's one of my favorite Cardi songs. You pussy ending. I actually like the song. The production is crazy. One of my favorite Cardi songs, bro. I don't know. It's a fire All playboy time. track to it's me. It's beautiful. It did pretty well the first week or two, but then after that, it just kind of steamrolled down the charts. Y'all give a fuck, bro. At me is hard. I don't care. At me is hard. Are we now with Playboy? That deserves way more love. Since I mean, I know we recently got that long-awaited SRT track with Uzi, but again, it's a leak, not an official yeah. release. Like, what is good, bro? <laughs> Yo, oh my god, oh my god, yo. I was listening to that leak, it was crazy. <laughs> I was like, Fendi, SIT, SIT. Yo, I would, I would be listening to that shit so, bro. I listen to that shit so much. Oh but my Playboy god. Playboy Cardi is one of the most interesting artists that shit was so far today, at least in my opinion. To be honest, his I miss this blonde era. This blonde era was hard. Crazy fan base is an old head's nightmare, and I'm a fan, bro. But if he would have dropped Whole Lot of Red this time last year with all those leaked tracks and the buzz around it, it he would have been sold like a hundred k. To be honest, it probably would still sell well though. I'm gonna say like eighty k, but we'll see. Playboy I, Cardi, how much did he sell? I forgot. It. Come on. How much, how, how much did he sell first week with that shit? I, I know it was like 
I know it went number one on on Billboard and everything like that, but that was I feel like that was partially because just the fact that so many niggas was listening to it. I don't feel like that was really because hella niggas was fucking with this with the album. How much? Dude? A lot of red cell. Over five hundred units, five hundred thousand units. Okay, first week, a hundred thousand. Oh yeah, he still sold a hundred thousand, and he did go number one. That was his first album to go number one, I think. And he sold a hundred, that including ten thousand pure album sales in his a hundred thousand album units, a hundred thousand units in first week. That's impressive. Like a lot, but again, I feel like that's also partially the fact that so many niggas was listening to it. And not for the fact that hella niggas was actually fucking because that nigga got so much hate for that album, bro. Oh my god. But I'm happy niggas fuck with it now. But we got a part two. So we can finally talk about it. We actually gonna talk about it. And then the tour, what really helped was the tour. I'm not gonna lie. When he went on tour for Whole Lot of Red, that's what really like. That's what really upped his shit, bro. Poke it out. Poke it out. Okay, poke it out is is amazing. It's Nicki Minaj that ruined the song, which I hate to say that because I love Nicki Minaj, but she ruined that song. So every time her verse comes on, I just skip it. I skip her verse. Free, oh my gosh! I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't lie. The start of Teen X, I kind of do like. Like, the, we all X, we all cut. Like, when he's, like, switching from his baby voice to his regular voice. I do kind of like that. But once it actually gets into the song, I hate it. Stop breathing. Yo! Just pop my rubber band, bro. Yo, this vamp era is actually insane, bro. We was at Onyx. Onyx brought me some brand new clothes. Double Street Market. Cardi. Ow. Speaking of fuck. dedicated fan bases, bro, Cardi, where is whole lot of red, bro? I honestly don't even know how to get into. You know, when when, when he when this was coming out, I really didn't believe it. I when he said it was dropping, I really did not believe that it was actually gonna come out. I can't even count. But it did, and I was so happy. Be here bro. all day talking about the drought we're currently in. If you're watching this video right now and Cardi already blessed us with a whole lot of red, then that's lit. Life is good. That's a blessing because at the time of this recording, I'm starving, fam. We still have yet to get it. Well, guess what, bro? We got we that shit, nigga. We got that shit, and boy, does it still feel fresh as ever. I cannot believe it's been a whole year, bro, since it dropped at the time of this recording. What's the best part of being a performer when you're out on stage? And you can hear your name. Just them, the fans. The fans, I yeah. I feel you. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I remember during yeah, okay, 2018, buddy. hell, even late 2018, with all the rumors of whole lot of red and all the damn leaks going around, like Hellcat. I'm a hit the bitch like I mean. Tattoo the OG Molly. Oh, tattoo is hard. I'm in the boat. I'm better than boat. I'm in the Yo, Molly, Molly might be one of the best songs of like life, bro. Like when I die, that's what that's the song I want to like hear playing, like when I'm ascending. Like that shit is beautiful, bro. Oh my god. The beat, every oh my god. Cancun like, song is actually like way too many. Ooh, this makes me want to levitate. Walk around the bill. Can you imagine how the OG whole lot of red would have sounded like if it weren't for all those leaks? Who knows? We may not have had the whole lot of red sound that we ended up getting. We probably say that's for what enough. Worse, some I don't fans know. Missed the baby voice sound, and some adore this new raspy, screaming rock. I kind of like it. I don't like it. How he tested it out before our very own eyes on the song Flex Up, and some of us didn't even realize like, oh shit, this is the new sound. This is whole lot of red right here. Oh, uh, fuck up was hard. His verse, on, yo, his verse on this song is so fucking hard, bro. Oh my god, his verse on this shit was so hard. Some of us didn't even realize, like, oh so shit, hard, bro. this is the new sound. This is whole lot of red right here. Yeah, pick up the trait. Yeah, Spanish bitch. I'm doing the drugs, me. That white hoe love me. 
I don't think Cardi Cops are gonna be worse than Astro. I'm honestly Astro and Cardi Pits are low key the exact same. The label ended up pushing the album back even more after this. To be honest, but they're the same. They were like, yeah. Try again, fam. I remember how so many people were shitting all over it. Fam. Bro, I like that song. I don't give a Even fuck. Even Cardi had to leave his live when he saw people shitting all over it. Oh yeah, on this album, bro. This this niggas were so pissed. Yeah, bro. This it was actually kind of sad. Oh my god, it was actually kind of sad. It was kind of sad. Seeing like like you could see in his face, he was like, "What the like, bro?" It was it, it's actually kind of sad. It's actually kind of sad. I'm well, I can't cap. It was kind of sad, but it's good that it turned around and like everybody fucking loves this album now. Here's my first reaction with me and my cousin back when it first dropped. We need we need this mosh, man. We need that bag. I'm beating it up. Love it or die. I don't get no fucks. I keep on touch. Yo, go to the moon is hard. Sounds different. Sounds extra. Stop breathing. Not a hoe, stop breathing. I take my shirt off and not a hoe, stop breathing. I take my shirt off and not a hoe, stop breathing. Bitch, stop breathing. Breathing. Die. I just my brother die. It's a monster. Beat him down, beat him down, beat him in a bar. It's a three and a half minute Playboy song. I mean, who's hanging with the bar? I mean, like that shit is hard. That shit is so hard. Playboy, what? I didn't like my bar. I'm a young bitch. I was clearly rocking with it as soon as it dropped. It's crazy. I was not. People started praising it weeks later. Even Pitchfork gave it a good score. Those bitch ass hoes. Yo, like, fuck yo. Oh my god, fuck Pitchfork, bro. All their ratings are ass. Besides that, besides this one, this was a good rating. But majority of the ratings were fucking dog shit, bro. Never forgive him for how they did my boy Cuddy, but. That's oh, a I don't even like Kit Cudi. Kit Cap. He completely rebranded his entire Kit Cap. image too. He went from the whole uppercase to lowercase letters with the plus sign and the butterfly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A complete 180 with this whole vampire aesthetic. Just look at his merch from 2017 to now. Yeah, he takes that. Yeah, that nigga's wildin', bro. A whole nother level. Yeah, that nigga is wildin', bro. Have to admit, that nigga's though, wildin'. I've been to a bunch of shows, bro. From Uzi and Travis to Chief Keef and Dirk. Like, if you know me, I mean, just check out my vlogs if you haven't yet. And I will honestly say that today, his star power is through the roof right now. The way his yeah, show. I don't want to go to. I, I, I wish I went to a really live, bro. I could have went. Him. I wish I just went. I remember this. This was. <laughs> I remember this video, bro. <laughs> this clip, this clip was crazy. I low key think Yo, he's the king of shows. These right niggas. Now. He might have even surpassed Uzi in popularity too. Like, Honestly, he, he kind of did. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Technically on Billboard and whatnot, but I feel like a lot of the he kind of did. I can't even cap, bro. Kind of converted. Okay, oh, okay, con let's calm down. I'm still strong. I'm still sticking with my nigga Uzi till the day I die. But I will not cap. Cardi did for a while. Cardi did pass Uzi in popularity, but I feel like Uzi kind of got it back with Pink Tape. I feel like Pink Tape. I feel like when Cardi, when I just okay, I feel like Uzi goes on tour with Pink Tape. I feel like it might have that same effect with a whole lot of red because that's when niggas really start to love the album. Because when niggas started to like see him perform it like at like festivals. That's like a lot of people start to love pink tape. So I feel like it could have that same effect. Or it might not. Who knows? But niggas Converted, like pink sure tape a though. So a lot of a lot more people like pink tape off rip than a whole lot of rap. Anymore. 
Playboy shows are something that you just have to experience, man. Ah, that's a moment in history right there. That is going to history books, bro. They got a two sets of kids in school right there. Like the energy is so crazy. Those that was a historic moment. Rams are a different breed, fam. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Cardi Hulk, Cardi's whole career changed with this album, bro. Like it, it, it skyrocketed his shit. Oh, I remember this. This was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, this was crazy. I feel so bad for like the security and shit. This was insane. Didn't they have to cancel this show? As of right now, until Uzi drops the pink tape or Travis drops a new album, which I doubt it's anytime soon, Cardi got the torch right now. There isn't any real yeah, build up to the pink tape right now either. Like, Cardi was just gonna go crazy. Don't get me wrong, but a whole lot of red is still as hot as ever. And I think yeah, it really Cardi Cardi was doing his shit after the pink tape once he started the Narcissist tour. And I never understood the people fiending for a whole lot of red deluxe or actually making memes like "Yo, Cardi, where's the album? Drop the tape. Like, where's Narcissist?" Oh, what you talking about? I love you, Tobia. That right now, he's still rolling with the vampire. Tobia was amazing. Clearly working the whole King Vamp shit. Yeah, that shit is still lit right now. As far as the actual album, whole lot of red that we ended up getting, I think this is a whole new sound that he birthed in this rap shit. Like, yeah, now he know, he changed the sound again. Inspired raps before and sounds. That's Hell, crazy. X was one of the pioneers for the screamo rap shit. RPX, RPX, fucking goat. I love X, bro. Love X. But there's something about Cardi's sound and his voice along with these instrumentals that just sound fresh and new. It's insane to me too how he's the only rapper that can literally not even rap his own shit at his shows, bruh. And literally just scream the whole time and the crowd- Yeah, that nigga don't be saying shit. Nuts for him. He's honestly the best at making the crowd perform for him. But yeah, that nigga don't be saying shit at his shows. don't even give a fuck. As long as he's in their presence and the songs are playing, the screams and the- As long as he's in their presence. Yo, that's such a fact, though. That really is such a fact, bro. He don't even gotta, like... He don't even gotta do nothing. They just know he's there, and they, like, that's good enough. I feel like he's the only person who can get away with that, though. Because anybody else does that and like they would complain if another artist did that. Like how they how they don't like sing during their performance or you know what I'm saying? Hold up. Plays on plays. Hold up. It's crazy how he doesn't even perform anything outside a whole lot of red nowadays, to be honest. It's probably gonna be like this for a while. I'm not sure when the whole vamp thing will die out, but for right now, he's going crazy for real. I'm still kind of tight. I dead ass paid $55 for the vinyl. From that was his website, $55? But you can get that shit for like 25 bucks on Amazon. They got me, bro. But yeah, the album itself. It's on Amazon? Oh, I'm copying it. Oh, God, I'm copying it. Oh, God, I'm copying it. I'm a J. Cole fan. <laughs> I'm fucking yeah, with Pete, bro. You see all those? those it's all vinyls and then, and then my most recent one loves Le race 2 that's my most recent one right there and then i got pink tape pink tape i'm gonna move this one up because this is scissor move that up and pink tape's gonna go right there i, I think i paid like 45 for pink tape i can't even count first sure i paid like 45 for it but like i had to bro like it's pink tape bro and you have the vinyls. I have uh, a chance though. Y'all should really read this interview. I got T pins. With Kid I use T pins. He asks him some pretty dope questions, like how he feels about whole lot of red going number but one. But if they say saying... what process making the album, if you're a big fan, y'all should check it out. I'll put the link of it in the description. So the question that I've but been if they say in twenty five for a whole lot of red, I'm gonna have to call. He's got such a I'm cult fan cop. base right now, and not even right now. He's been having a cult fan base. But yeah, anything. He Listen to whole lot of red on vinyl might be an experience. Is he gonna continue the same sound for his? next project probably it's mainly all about the production though in my opinion of course his vocals are the icing on the cake but let's see how the overall sound is gonna be i think from now on rolling loud should just headline him because i can't i mean shit they have insane the experience literally in that i don't think carney has not headlined a festival since hold red every i literally can't think of time like if he's at the festival he's a headliner i swear to god like and if he's not and if he if like that's as simple as that I don't think he's not been a headline. Actually, wait. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's not been a headliner since he dropped whole lot of rent. It's actually uh, crazy. I thought since the recent Rolling Loud in Cali was 18 and over, that it wouldn't really be turned up since his fan base seems to really be a lot of teenagers. But nah, fam, the vamps were out that night. Shit it was, was 18 and older, not really? As, as his New York City performance, though, bro. That night will honestly go down in history with how legendary that shit was. Bro, come on. You had the rain. Bro, yeah, the rain was hard. Pouring oh rain as soon as Cardi came. The out. rain was hard, bro. That shit was destined for greatness. And him yeah, that's, that was hard. Too, I can't lie, bro, that, that was shit hard. Was perfect. Rain was a paid actor. <laughs> Average vamp right here. Average vamp. Yo, Cardi, bro. That's that's Cardi. Cardi's a, 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 a artist that we're just never gonna get again. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they will never see another artist like Cardi, bro. Ever. And seeing like his like how his career is and how like unique it is, because any other rapper that does like that moves the way Cardi moves, I feel like would not last. I feel like it just wouldn't last, bro. Like, Cardi's the only person who can move how he does and still be as popular as he is. And that's, that's pretty impressive, bro. I cannot lie. That is very impressive.